Russians controlled Mesopotamia throughout the Bessia to the north, Hector to the south, and Portia to the east. All three of these powers constantly threatened to expand their borders. Each of them also a superpower during the During the time between Joseph and the Exodus, Egypt oppressed and enslaved the people of Israel as they grew from a family of 17 individuals to a great nation. Egypt continued to play a role in the story of Israel toward the end of Israel's kingdom period. The last desperate kings hoped that Egypt would save Judah from the Babylonians. Egypt turned out to be a rig that splinters beneath your weight and pieces your gun. Our pages ship back in our sheep and Israel experienced frequent conflicts with Aram, beginning during the time of David. Toward the end of the old period, the Persian Empire gained power. Persia occupied the region just east of Mesopotamia. Persia's rise to power began in the MID Mumbai. SBC and included the defeat of Babylon in Yuan Qian Judea became a province in the Persian Empire and remained so until Alexander the Great defeat of Persia in Yuan Qian The Old Testament Story The Bible begins with the account of creation. Provided Eden, a wonderful place for human beings to live. Adam and Eve enjoyed a harmonious and fulfilling relationship with God and with each other. All of this changed quickly. Genesis 7 introduces the serpent, who injected this girl into this harmonious world. The serpent had him and Adam to discuss God, and they chose to rebel against God in the belief that they would get. Third and God, this simply a barrier between God and humans and brought us to all humanity. God's holy presence became deadly to Adam and Eve rejected them from Eden. Even in the midst of judgment for their sin, however, God remained in love, working for their redemption. After Eden, the Octus Cross went split between those who chose to follow God and those who rejected Him. Self-versus pain. Such as Noah versus this wicked generation. Isaac versus Ishmael. And Jacob versus Isa and Laban. A crucial transitional point came when God offered great promises to Abraham. They called Abraham to live on. Around the 1900 BC, and go to the land that I will show you, Jan Shami. Unlike Adam and Eve, 
Songs drop Proverbs 5 scrolls, Medilos, Rus song of songs, Ecclesiastes, Lamentations, Lester, Daniel, Ezra, Nehemiah, Chronicles, E.R. 
Introduction to the Old Testament. Setbooking, which groups books according to genre and places the books within each genre in chronological order. The Greek and English upbookings with the Pentateuch. Next come the historical narratives. Then the poetical books, arranging chronological order according to the setting or traditional data of composition, and finally the prophets. In two parts, the major largest prophets appear in chronological order. They are followed by the two minor shorter prophets which also follow a general chronological arrangement. Interpreting the Old Testament Christians sometimes find the Old Testament to read and understand with content that seems strange and distant. What is the connection between Christianity and animal sacrifices? Religious circumcision, strange life, very last, the process of the sun, and the history of ancient Israel. To understand the world better, we must realize that it is an ancient book, with the oldest parts written some 1500 years ago. It also comes from a culture, the ancient Near East, vastly different from ours. Most importantly, the books were written before the coming of Christ. The following principles can so readers as they study the Lord. Read each passage in context. With the Bible, as with all good literature, gaining a grasp of the whole world does appreciate and understand the past. We should center to historical books, poetry, and wisdom prophets. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Joshua judges Ruth E. Samuel R. Samuel E. Kings R. Kings E. Chronicles R. Chronicles Ezra Nehemiah Esther Job songs for words of Ecclesiastes so long songs Consider the historical and cultural background of the book not treat a biblical book as a collection of isolated sayings. Rather, the books contain connected stories, instructions, and poems. The meaning of the individual verses can be discovered only in the flow of the whole literary piece which occurs by reading large books at a time. While this principle does not stop us from turning to the middle of a biblical book to read a few verses, we should also seek to develop an understanding of the message of the whole book. In other words, we should exercise great passion not to discuss the message when we read small pieces of scripture. The book introduction in the NLT study Bible comes with this process by providing an overview of which book's content and message. Identify the genre of the book and passage. Contemporary readers are familiar with a variety of genres such as biographies, textbooks, and newspaper editorials. 
Melody. They inspired others of the Orkney's and Dorothy in a time and culture very distant from us. We should seek to understand what was taking place during the time period the author describes as well as the second different time period when the author was writing. For example, the Book of Chronicles describes the event that took place from the time of David to the exile, so far in 1000 to 1600, but it was probably written in Judea following the return from exile around 1400. Knowing the details and settings, both of the events that are described and of the time in which the book was written, will help us understand Chronicles and its message more clearly. The same holds true for other books of the Earth. Read the Old Testament in the light of Christ's coming. Jesus said that the whole earth anticipated his coming, suffering, and glory. Luke 24, 25-27 Jesus is the center of biblical revelation. The earth anticipates things, and the anti-describes things. Anti-authors recognize this. So they frequently cited the odd to explain that the glorious events happening in their day were foreshadowed and foretold by the odd. Christians, too, should read the odd from the perspective of the death and resurrection of Christ. While it is crucial for to interpret each other's message or root in the context of its original audience. We understand the odd better when we read it in light of its fulfillment in Jesus Christ. Meaning and message. Scripture does trust both nature and explains this left in history. By reading the odd, God's people learn about who God is by observing and participating in what he does. God's nature, character, and death. God's special name in the earth is Yahweh. The name comes from the Hebrew word meaning to be. God told Moses that his name means I am W-H-O-A-M, Exodus 3.14. In other words, God defines. 
playing Pajot. For introduction to the Old Testament. Kill himself. Nothing else defines being, but he defines everything. In most English translations, including the NLP, his name for God is usually translated the Lord capitalized. Most often, not the scratch. God like picture in any relationship. God relates to people as singer, king, shepherd, warrior, husband, and in many other roles. God also reveals to peace by what he does. For example, dividing the Red Sea, cutting the walls of Jericho to fall, establishing David as king, allowing the Babylonian army to the big Jerusalem, and restoring his people to the land after the exile. The primary message of the Lord is that God saves his people and judges those who resist him. He passionately pursues his sinful people in order to establish a community that is in harmony with him, a kingdom that recognizes and serves its divine king. There is one God. The Atlantis a sustained attack on the prevailing world of the ancient Near East, which was that the heavens and the earth, if you with deities, constitute the sum total of reality. The implication of this false worldview which continues in much of the world today, are many and far reaching. L, 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 L. Because the heavens and the earth contain many diverse parts, many purposes. Because the gods are the cosmos, we can manipulate the gods by manipulating the cosmos. Because humans are obsessed with sex, the gods are also. Because the universe exists without purpose, the gods have no purpose except survival to the acquisition of power, and so humans must pursue power as well. Okay.